seated if you can. Nicely done. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. And when you can't stand, you can sit. And when you can't sit, you can lie down. And if you can't lie down, you can just stand, you can just be there and say, ah, oh, I'm with the God of my understanding. All other ground is sinking sand. All other things that keeps me from the love of my God is sinking sand. All other things that keep me from having my eyes on the prize is sinking sand. Would you agree? All the things that get in the way of love is sinking sand. So don't put your trust there. Put your trust in God, in Christ, the solid rock. And I don't want to break the tile, but I would say on the solid rock. I'll do it on the carpet. On the solid rock of oh God. God loves you so much. God is foundation. God is peace. God is love. God is there. And I would invite your attention to the cover of our worship folder today. Our graphic artist, Daryl Walker, has done such a magnificent job of finding an image, creating an image that reflects our current national condition. We want to keep in mind those who are separated from their families. We want to keep in mind that this is not a new condition for our country. We repeat these conditions over and over and over again. And what are God's people to do? To remain fast, to remain steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord so that God's peace and God's love and God's light and God's hope and God's vision can be made real right here and in the world. So whatever you can do, first pray. Let us pray together. Pray in, the, in our prayer closets at home. Pray at work. Pray in the car. Pray in church. Pray on the mall. Pray in the mall. And then act. However God moves you to act, do that. If it's joining the rally at the Capitol or at the White House, do that. If your call is to write letters and to call your congressperson, do that. If your call is to pray and pray without ceasing, do that. If your call is to reach out and get on a plane and go down to the border, do that. Whatever your call is, that's between you and the God of your understanding. Be true to that call. Be true to the passion that God has put into your heart that we as a church may be for justice for all. indivisible united we as a nation can be amen today's message and today's focus is during our pride tide this is our last Sunday of our pride season is about storms we can be in that storm and though the storms may roll in your life Know that your soul is anchored in the Lord. You can look across the waves and the billows of the, of the sea, and your soul is anchored in the Lord. Let us go to our God in prayer. Great and gracious God, you are an amazing and a wonderful God. You are a present God. You are a mighty God. You are God with us, Emmanuel. God, during this time of sorrow and joy, 
of trials and tribulations, of questions. God, help our soul to be anchored in you. Gracious God, we don't understand all that's going on around us, yet we can do what we can do. And we can do what you have commissioned each and every one of us to do. We can love. We can pray to you, O oh God. We can act on our passions. We can speak out and sign out and write out. God, move our hearts. Trouble our spirits, O oh God, that we cannot rest. That we cannot rest until justice is served until justice comes. Give us a heart for you and a heart for your people, O oh God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your spirit. And thank you for this community and congregation. We pray in your precious and most holy name. Amen.